Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Makima Deshawn, so let's get into this everyday look. First, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Age Perfect Blurring Face Primer, and all the products that I use will be listed in the description box. As you can see, that was a little bit too much, so you don't need that much. And for my foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. And this is the color Deep Amber, number 150. For my concealer, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, and I believe this is in number in chestnut, and this is number 425. To add a little extra coverage and um, a little lightness, I'm going in with the H Perfect Radiant Concealer Corrector, and this is in 265, and this is in cappuccino. And for my brows, I'm going in um, with Uma Beauty by Sharon C. And this is the one and done, two and one brow styler. And I'm going in with the number six. Now I'm blending in my concealer since I let it set for a little while and I love doing this. It does add a little bit more coverage. And to blend in that um, concealer all over for a blendless, seamless, um, I'm going in with my, um, my foundation brush and I'm just blending that in and I'm adding a little lip conditioner here to get my lips prepped for my lip products. And to set my concealer, I'm going in with the Clinique Blended Face Powder, and this is in the color 20 Invisible Blend. And I've been using this for years, and I love it, and I don't have any creasing with this powder. I'm just taking my powder blush to get the rest of that powder off. Now to um, powder my, set my whole face, I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Powder, and this is in the color C8 Cocoa. And for bronzer, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Paris infallible 24 hour fresh water bronzer and this is in the color 550 deep dark if you notice if I keep looking up I'm just looking at my monitor I'm thinking about moving it down so it can be level with me and um, for my next product I am going in with the Juvia's Place um, blush rouge and this is volume 4 with that beautiful cool pink and for my next um, for my highlighter I'm going in with the H Wendy Houston from Mac and this is in it's just it's called just Whitney and I had to do a slow because my camera stopped filming and so this is why I'm going into this next one and I'm going into with um, this eyeshadow palette is from Tarte and it's from it's the sweet Tarte frosted from the Sugar Rush sister brand of um, 
of Tarte and the colors that I use will be uh, listed below. You might think I'm talking to myself, but I'm not. I'm just talking to my daughter from um, college. She gave me a call, so I thought I would take her call. Now about these eyeshadows. I really do love this um, eyeshadow palette. The um, eyeshadows are nice and smooth and they have a nice color payoff. And I do have both, um, both palettes from this brand. Now taking this shimmery color, um, I'm just going in with my um, shadow brush and I'm putting that all over my lid. But I thought I want, well, I decided to take, I wanted a little bit more shimmer. So I will be taking my finger and applying it to um, my lid. And I like the shimmer, it wasn't too glittery and the glitter didn't go everywhere. And that's my little fur baby back there, Bishop, and he's decided to get in on the video. <laughs> Now I'm going back in with the brow product from Sharon C, the Uma Beauty brand, and I'm just using the um, using that. So because I added powders to my face, it little sort of dulled the um, my eyebrows. So I just wanted to use that to bring them out a little bit more. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline New York um, Tinted Primer, the Lash Sensational, and a lot of people don't like this, but I like it because if you add a small, a very thin, um, a thin layer to your brows and don't try to overcoat it, put more than one coat on it like mascara, it'll turn out pretty good and it'll make the lashes look pretty good as well. Going in with the Essence Lash Princess, and this is in the false lash effect, and I love this um, mascara. It is, I started, I turned, I fell in love with the peach, but now I'm in love with this one. And with this and that primer, it is absolutely beautiful. Look at my lashes, they look very good. Okay, now I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Luxe Liner, and this is in the color Brownie, and I love this, uh, this lip liner. And I'm just using that to basically contour my lips, add a little bit more, and line my lips. You know, you know. For my lips, I'm going in with the Milani lipstick, and this is the number 29 Teddy Bear. Now I'm going back in with the lip liner from Juvia's Place, and I'm just redefining my lips and making them look more complete. For lip gloss, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat from the Coffee Cat Collection, and this is in the color La Vida Mocha. And I'm just using that just in the middle, just to add a little more juiciness to the lips. 
For finishing spray, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I really love this setting spray. It does a good job to be drugstore. Okay, everyone, this is the completed look. And I love how this turned out. And if I don't wear it every day, this is the look that I wear when, you know, I want to go out or just, you know, feel finished and together. So I hope and pray that you love this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and join my channel. And don't, and yeah, just show your girl a little love. I know it's been a while, but a video for that is coming out later. So God bless and take care. Until next time, YouTube.